Hi, my name is Dawn Calhoun. I'm an adult student returning to university to finish my degree in psychology. Today we are at the scenic overlook off of the Crystal Bridges Trail facing the west side of the museum. The museum is situated on 120 acres, nestled in a ravine in the Ozark Mountains in Bentonville, Arkansas. For my art you can see in a day project, I have chosen to discuss the Crystal Bridges Museum rather than a single piece of artwork. The Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art was designed by Moisha Safdie and opened in November of 2011. Safdie is a world-renowned architect with such designs as the Yad Vashem Holocaust Museum in Jerusalem, Israel, the Khalsa Heritage Center in Punjab, India, and the National Gallery of Canada in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. The museum was a vision of Alice L. Walton of the Walmart family legacy and founded in 2005. It takes its name from the nearby Crystal Spring as well as the bridge-like construction incorporated in the design. The museum is surrounded by more than three and a half miles of trails, complete with wildlife, sculpture, and seating for quiet reflection. Crystal Bridges is important to Northwest Arkansas and art for several reasons. The museum provides economic development, tourism, state pride, and free access to important works of art for those people who may not otherwise have an opportunity to enjoy them. The museum is composed of both natural and man-made materials. The main body of the structure is comprised of concrete slabs which were poured on site by local tradesmen. The ceilings throughout are made from Arkansas white pine, while many of the walls are glass to allow for natural light while strolling the interior of the museum as well as allowing visitors to enjoy the feeling of bringing the outside greenery in, reminding all that they are in the beautiful Ozark Mountains. The museum's roofs are vaulted and are coated in copper, which will, over time, develop a patina echoing the natural colors of the countryside. Currently, the copper color reflects the light, much like the gold tesserae used in Byzantine mosaics. The museum has eight pavilions three of which are next to the ponds, two span them acting as bridges, and one juts into the pond seeming to float on top of the water. Seen from the back, the museum rises from a vertical plane, again echoing the mountainous surroundings. A central courtyard, complete with an amphitheater which references the classical Roman architecture, another central enclosure leads to the requisite museum gift shop and the elevator access. As the visitor ascends in the elevator, the aspect of the museum changes from the cool concrete and stone to the copper roofs, both vaulted and concave, changing the viewpoint to an aerial perspective and to the greens and browns of nature. This museum can be viewed from both a nationalistic value as well as an iconographic one. In the nationalistic value, we are considering Arkansas in the national role. The importance of a world-class museum in this state can hopefully change the perception many in the nation have of Arkansas being culturally backward in the style of the Beverly Hillbillies. Also, from an iconographic value perspective, the arrangements of the buildings represent a mountain range and ravine and how nature and construction can exist in harmony. As Safdie writes in his website, our solutions evolve in response to the context that defines a place, locale, and regional characteristics of landscape, climate, cultural heritage, and contemplating life. Celebrating the unique characteristic of each place, we create buildings that belong. In the context of history, we could consider Crystal Bridges as a natural evolution of architecture in harmony with nature. Beginning in 1890 and through the early 1900s, Frank Lloyd Wright brought the prairie style into the American landscape with one of his most famous works, Falling Water in Bear Run, Pennsylvania. The use of local materials and the feeling of oneness with nature is also present in Safdie's architecture. In fact, one could say that Safdie has taken prairie to its next logical development. I chose Crystal Bridges because I believe in the power of American art and the importance of making art accessible to all. The admission to the museum is free thanks to a generous grant from the Walmart Foundation. I spent several pleasant afternoons with my family enjoying what the museum has to offer and I truly hope that many others will do the same.